Good morning. Today is going to be a really fun day for me. We have been on the list for about eight months with a company to come and build us an awning back here so we can park our fifth wheel that's over there on our own yard. Our neighbor has been so kind to let us park it in his um, a, a driveway that he doesn't use and so we are really excited to be able to move it over here today but they are going to come and I don't know how they're gonna do it because I think our ground is still really frozen we have got snow still and they but they are gonna come and they are going to dig and they've got frozen ground and tree roots and rocks and I'm just glad that it's them digging them and not us. We did do our own fences here, and this is really a tough ground to dig fence posts in. So I'm happy that they're going to come and do it for us, and I'm happy to be able to get our trailer moved today. Or, well, I won't move it today. We won't move it today, but soon. size hole. Finally feeling like spring out here. Let me show you something. They've got this finished and I think it looks really, really nice. I only have one concern. We are taking the fifth wheel in to get the air conditioner put on the very top of it or the up above the bed. And I've been told that this is going to be tall enough, but I am really still a little bit nervous. It would just be awful to come home and find that, that it doesn't fit underneath there. So stay tuned. All right, we are in the process of parking our fifth wheel under the awning. We have a couple things we have to watch really close. One is, is the air conditioner on the awning or on the, RV going to clear the awning and right now we have to get something behind the front wheels some more cinder blocks because we are pinching we're gonna <laughs> okay let's see where because we've got about an inch of clearance between the bed and the RV. Lots to keep track of, lots to watch. We're gonna fix that problem one of these days because we're gonna change the, the approach. But for right now, it's touch and go. Walking him through it, he's on the other, he's on the other end. And he needs to have those tires right on the edge of the sidewalk. I keep coming back. Keep it coming, keep it coming. I'm gonna bring you all the way back to the, where the sidewalk curves. The top looks great. We, we cleared that with no problem. 
He can come back. Come back a little bit further. Do you want to step out and just walk around it and see what you think? I think we're, I, I like where I'm at. I need to come up on some blocks. Because the tip is yeah. going to be right yeah. here between the. Yeah. But you can pull ahead a couple feet because you're not underneath the awning up here. I think I need to push it that way. I, I need to come this way about. Yes. And I thought you would do that when you pull forward, pull it. Well, I, yeah, I need to go up and then come back. Okay. Back. You did it. You did it. My battery's almost dead. Okay. You did it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I think you're sweating so much. I don't know. I need some Tylenol too. <laughs> you didn't even no. swear. No, no. I didn't get, didn't get mad. You guys did good. <laughs> Well, I started editing this video and I thought that's not a very nice ending. You didn't even say goodbye. You didn't say uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or don't forget to sub subscribe. And, and anyway, so I thought I would come back out here. It's been a few days and show you how my trailer after it's been sitting all winter long. We are so excited to have it back and to be able to set up house in it and to go on some trips and to bring you along with us. We've got one scheduled in just a few weeks, actually. Um, some of the kids that are able to uh, rent some RVs and get away for a few days are gonna join us. And so we will, we will be sure and bring you along for that. Oh, let me show you something else. Well, I've been cleaning um, from the winter and I got this really cool vacuum. Hang on a minute, I will get it. I was just using a broom, but I got this. It's from Amazon. It's called a, let's see. It's called a bagot or a bagota. I'm not sure how you say that. Bagota? Anyway, it's off of Amazon and it does the hardwood floors as well as the little bit of carpet. And the battery comes off and you just charge it with this little thing and then put it back on. If you're interested in that vacuum, I'll leave a link in the description below for you. When we winterized this, we took everything out of it because we didn't know if we were going to have mice troubles or not. We didn't want anything inside of this that they would want to make a bed in or eat. So we took absolutely every um, article of clothing, towels, paper towels, whatever out. And we didn't need to do that. We put my bait outside around the trailer and it didn't even get nibbled. And so this winter, we'll go ahead and put my bait around the outside again, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna take everything out of it. We are gonna take the food out though. I'm not gonna keep food inside of this, of course, but the clothes, we'll, we'll leave them in the, we'll leave them here. I'm gonna, I'm trying to get um, pieces from my wardrobe that can stay out here that I don't need to take back in the house. I've also had a few people message me and ask me if I still like the um, Betty's bed, bedding, the Betty's bedding, and the answer to that question is I do. I, we haven't used it out here very many times. Of course, it was last fall, but I washed it up and, and brought it back out here and put it on the bed and it's just so easy to make so that's another thing if you're buying a camper this year if you've got one you might want to look at the betty's beds they're pretty awesome 
Chad and I were so excited to get this open back up that Sunday we came out here and watched a little TV on it just so we could cuddle up in it and start the uh, furnace up and see how everything was working again. So that was kind of fun. Okay, well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.